come ride with me as I do a neighborhood tour of Silverstone Ranch. That's what I'm talking about today, so let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I am doing a neighborhood tour of a master plan community called Silverstone Ranch, and it is located up here in the northwest side of the Las Vegas Valley, off of Buffalo, um, and we're heading right now on Buffalo, heading north to Silverstone Ranch. And this douchebag is not stopping. Oh, that's Arbor View High School. That's pretty cool. Let's see where we at. Where we be. We are on Buffalo and Grand Teton. So in this series, I am doing neighborhood tours of all the master plan communities. Now this one in particular um, has a little over 1,500 plus homes and it's in the 89131 zip code. When it was originally developed, it was um, developed around a, a golf course, a 27 hole golf course. But if any of you know, or maybe you don't know, and they still advertise that there's a golf course, there is no golf course here in this community. Mm -hmm. In 2015, back in 2015, there was a lawsuit because the owners of the golf course sold it to somebody so they can build more homes in this community. But the members of this community like fought back and said, hey, wait a minute, we bought in this community because of the golf course. So this is what happens when you buy in a community that does not, uh, the golf course is not ran by the community itself. Um, so now, the golf course is gone and it's just like a barren wasteland. It's, it's not taken care of, it's not maintained. Um, and I do believe back in November of 2021, the clubhouse burned down. So although it's a very beautiful master plan community, there is no golf course in this community. So FYI on that. Um, and they had a nice like 34,000 square foot clubhouse that had all the beautiful amenities. Um, so they have some gated and non-gated communities, and they also have a guard-gated community up here in this uh, master plan. Uh, they have nine distinct different neighborhoods or subdivisions. And uh, since Silverstone Ranch was developed between 2008, let's see, where am I? Oh, that was a fast tour. Oh, this is into one of the other communities. Silver Lake. Silver Lake. Um, oh, sorry. It was developed between 2003 and 2008, and there are single and two-story homes in this community. trash day. Seems like in the Northwest on Mondays, trash day. beautiful mountains though. Mm. Nope. I'm just gonna get lost in this hood. Looks like this is, oh no, I was gonna say it looks like it's an all single story community but I see some two story homes.
traditional houses built in the early 2000s. I think this is an all Pulte community. So all these homes are built by Pulte. So Silverstone Ranch was developed between 2003 and 2008 by Pulte Homes and there are single and two-story homes ranging in size between 1559 square feet to 3448 square feet. Um, it looks like this is, we're about to reach the old golf course because you can tell this was a golf course at one point mm -hmm. in time. Look how desolate it looks. Yeah, Silverstone Golf Club. This is a shame. Yeah, it is. They're not even maintaining the palm trees. No. Wow. Wow, they're just letting the property go lately. Yeah. Wow. Well, the clubhouse was here and it burned down. I bet you this is where the clubhouse was at. Wow, look at those palms are just dying. Wow. Yeah, the lawsuit is still going on. Um, I guess a brief note, I'm going to park and read the, the little byline about what's going on with the lawsuit. Sorry. Um, it says that it's a 270-acre, 27-hole golf course and has been tangled in litigation since 2015. Uh, when it closed. The Silverstone case has been complicated since a California-based limited liability company bought the golf course in 2015. Desert Lifestyles LLC purchased the course in September 2015, promptly closed it, and stopped watering it. Silverstone homeowners sued, and in December 2015, they were notified that Desert Lifestyle had sold the course to Stone Ridge Parkway and Stone Ridge then filed for bankruptcy. So that's like very convoluted. The company bought it, they stopped watering it, the HOA, the community sued, and then the company that the other company sold it to went filed for bankruptcy. Hmm. Wow. That's pretty crazy. That's sad. Look at the movies. Yeah. Looked like it was probably very beautiful at one point in time. I mean, there's no way from coming back to this, you know. No, you'd have to regut the whole thing. Yeah, there's just no way. Sad. Yeah, and a lot of realtors have never updated their um, website, so they're advertising that oh, there's yeah. a golf course in this right. neighborhood, and there's no golf course. No. And it's a shame because Pulte is a good builder. Right. So, food for thought, when you're buying in a golf course community, make sure that that golf course is owned by the community, the association, and not by an outside uh, third party or outside person. Because this happened to a community in Piccoli Ranch called Queens Ridge as well. Um, and it's a shame because people spend a lot of money to live on the golf course and once that golf course no longer is there their value depreciates and they lost all that money that they put into living on a golf course community yeah, and they got the golf cart and everything else yeah But minus not having a golf course, this is a very nice, well-maintained neighborhood. Um, so, I mean, don't let that, the lawsuit or the litigation, you know, worry you so much. I guess someone's probably waiting to get into Silver Lake. Yeah, I couldn't believe that I read in the paper in November of last year that that whole community center burned down. Uh, it sounds a little fishy. Yeah, someone probably burned it down. 
probably a disgruntled uh, homeowner. So I think the Palms is the only guard gated uh, subdivision in this neighborhood. Is a very fast neighborhood drive through <laughs> tour of Silverstone Ranch. It has not a lot to showcase and, and to really go over, um, other than that it's a master plan community in the northwest side of the Las Vegas Valley. Cross streets are Russell and Buffalo. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you thought about this tour. I apologize that it was short, but my goal is to do neighborhood tours of all the master plan communities in the Las Vegas Valley, and I'm starting out in the Northwest side. If you wanna learn more about all these neighborhoods, you can always go to my website at uh, neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. As always, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next tour. Peace out, guys.